Hi there, welcome back to my channel, Antoinette here. Um, I was gifted a very beautiful book of connections um, from my favourite shop, The Flickering Cauldron. As many of you know, I have lots of their books, but the book of connections I was umming and ahhing about because um, one, it completes my collection of all the stuff they have out so far, but two, because I don't have enough friends in brackets um, to fill a book with such things and we are in that weird digital age where some of us are in the crossover of not using address books anymore so i've just got the three here that i have which kind of i think these all go together really so this is like the set and the volume two comes out at the end of this year which i'll um be on the waiting list for as soon as it comes out on their email notification list so let's take a little look so this is a hardback cover this book of connections and it's an a to z um, so we have lots of beautiful imagery on it and it is designed to obviously be kept and to last the years, hence the hardback. There's gorgeous artwork inside. So you can keep it in any way you choose. Um, so there are, so it has the address book in here. There is a password section at the back, um, and you know, whatever you choose to use it for. Now being creative about how we use them, um, there's a page there to put information on course you could change up what it's asking you for and put different things in here it doesn't have to be you know what's listed you can change the meanings so you have pages to do that and then you can see you have your a to z in gold down the sides and each one comes with a introduction page where it has um, something linked to the alphabet letter um, and a nice little saying and there are these really cute pictures and then as you can see, we have, you know, for your name, if the person's a company, address, landline, email, website, username, postcode, mobile, password. And it goes like that all the way through. So for A, we have one, two, three, four, five pages for A. Here we have B. So be nice to those around you. Again, more great artwork. And as you know, that is one of the reasons why I love this company's stuff so much and we've got the prints in the pages is just the attention to detail and the you know beautiful artwork one two three four five so i think it might be five pages for each letter although we'll see um where do we not always have so many should we look at i well you probably want to see each Insert so let's not cheat you out of that bit. Heal your mind, body, and spirit. I, I am me, I am unique, I am worth it. I comes with one, two, three, four, so five for I, J, two, three, four, six. okay, so it must be five for every letter. And I don't think you can fault the art in here it's really beautiful moody lovely little quotes it has that sort of um, whimsical hand-drawn i want to say like a 1980s feeling to it with the artwork i can't remember the name of the artist but it used to be these little boy and girl prints paintings that everyone had or they might have even been from the 70s actually but to me it has that sort of feel around it x yep no skimping five on x y z for zen then we have birthdays and anniversaries one two pages and um, we have usernames and passwords or a space to put usernames and passwords if you wish there and then um, we have the back of the book now i do have a phone i do save things to my phone but i don't know about you guys i clearly do something wrong because every so often my phone resets itself and i lose all the great websites pages bookmarks and things that i've saved um because i don't like having everything just uploaded to the weird cloud in the sky and knowing that it can be accessed by other people should they hack my information as well 
So for that reason, you know when you find a great shop, a great Etsy shop, a great online shop, anything, I thought that those could go into here and then, you know, you can reference what you use them for. So under F, I would obviously put the flickering cauldron and then a little list of things that I buy or I like or that I, you know, if there's a specific item I want from a shop, then I'd put it there. And I'd probably do the same with anything else that I use, you know, my tarot decks, where are my favourite decks from, indie decks, where I get particular decks from and the websites, because the website isn't always obvious. Um, so that's what I thought I might use this for. And the other thing I was um, contemplating was as a cross-reference to the companion book. And when I say cross-reference, what I mean is, although I have in the journal, I have spaces to create things so we have um, like making potions soaps oils creating blends so space in here to do with that but that'll be like the creation of the items and here we have some references on putting them together but in here I was thinking I could cross reference I could use this as a cross reference multitasking tab book for example, R, I could put rose as my herb oil, um, whatever it is I'm thinking of. So I could put it here and I could write a bit about it um, and the ways in which I might use it. That's good. So I know it's under R. But let's say I wanted to create something for love. I wanted to, I don't know, make a soap. Um, and infuse it with love. Then under L, I could again put my rose. So I could write about rose under L and how it corresponds and how I might use it and um, how I might put it into things and what, I have, what else I might blend it with. And again, I could use that for H for health or I could use it for N for nurture. So there's other ways of doing this. That was one of the other things I was thinking about using this for. Um, and of course, I would have to make up my mind whether this was just going to be a cross-reference correspondence book for those sorts of things, or if I was going to use it for those websites and pages and great books and things that I want to find and read and gather and use as my own resources. So it could just become my own like appendix of resources um, would be another great way of using this book. Those are some of my ideas. How do you use yours? Let me know. would love to hear from you. Um, it's always great to share. And I haven't for those wondering haven't written in this yet because i have a fear of ruining nice journals and books so it takes me a while to build up the courage to do it so what will happen is for a while these will get bits of scrap paper stuck inside until i've um, honed decided re refined my ideas of what i'm wanting to write in them and then once i've got my idea because I, I rewrite things over and over again and once i've got my idea down to a nutshell and a well-worded um sentence then it will go into these but for the time being it'll be bits of scrap paper that get stuck into the pages or sticky notes you know like little post-it notes and i'll just stick those onto the page where i want to um refine that idea and get my words you know concise and um understandable right that is me so thank you for watching take care i will see you in the next one Bye bye